What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we're learning how to export ProRes. That's right, you heard it, ProRes from Premiere Pro on a Windows machine. Now before we get started, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll show you how to do this. So, to do this, there is a lesson to be learned here. To get things done sometimes, you have to spend a little money. This is not an endorsed video, I just happened to find this online. I paid for it. it within seconds. It was like, if this works, I'm totally sold. I will pay for this. So we're going to go to this really cool site called aescripts.com and find After Codex. Now, it's not exactly cheap, but totally worth it if you want ProRes. So for, it's uh, 89 bucks per piece of software for After Effects, Premiere Pro, and Media Encoder. I bought all three because you get like a... 25% discount if you buy all three, but if you only want Premiere Pro, all you gotta spend is 90 bucks. Now, if you wanna export Pro as for Media Encoder, like queue up multiple files, you can do that as well. But download this, install it, it's really easy to get installed. You have your license key and your account, super simple. Once you get it installed, hop over to Premiere Pro. I'm sorry if you're upset that you have to spend money to make this work, but like I said before, sometimes you have to spend a little bit of money, and to be honest, whoever made this deserves to earn a little bit of money because this is an amazing plugin for the Adobe Suite. I mean, it's it's been working magic for me. So we're back in Premiere Pro. I have some uh, R3D red footage of a woman cutting carrots, which is just, you know, wonderful. We're gonna go to File, Export, Media, just like any other export inside of Premiere. And once you have your plugin installed, Drop down on your format and go to After Codex. And there you go. Um, you have a couple of different options. You can format from an MP4 or an MOV. In this case, we're doing ProRes. We'll choose MOV for QuickTime. Open After Codex Settings. Once the settings pop open, you'll have this video codex selection. You can choose between all these different settings ProRes 422 Proxy, LT Standard, HQ, Ultra, which is unofficial. Haven't tried it because it's unofficial. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You just select your, your, your quality. Let's do HQ, click OK. Um, we can match the source for me, which would make this a very, very large resolution video, which is OK. And you could go from there, just export. It works. That's how you do it. Um, and you have ProRes on Windows. It's been working for me really well. I've been testing out a lot of different stuff. We've got 4K ProRes. We got 8K ProRes, and we also have 8K H.264 because this is also great because Premiere Pro supports 8K H.264 natively inside of uh, Premiere, but you can't queue it in Media Encoder. 8K H.264 doesn't work in Media Encoder, which is very strange. Um, it only goes back down to 4K. So um, what's great about After Codex on top of the ProRes is you have uh, the 8K MP4 that can go into... Uh, media encoder. And this also works inside of After Effects, so you can have H.264 inside of After Effects, which is pretty cool. Um, and we just find the H.264 and change it. And that's how you get ProRes inside of here. I knew I talked about some extra stuff, but this is super simple, super easy, really, really cool plugin. You should definitely buy it. Um, I'm, I don't know who made it. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but I just some things are just worth it in my opinion. So thank you, as always, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. Things like that that help me out. I'm still growing, still doing this YouTube thing, and we're gonna keep going. Hope you like my shirt. Peace.